The episode starts at Simeon's mansion, where we see Simeon and Father arguing over who would be better at leading the squad on future missions. Oh come on, Father. You know damn well I'm a better leader. Besides, you wouldn't last a day in my shoes leading this team. Says you, mister. I wanted to destroy humanity after they sent me to space. Simeon is seen rolling his eyes at Father's remark as the two argue back and forth. You know that was a long time ago. I was young then. Stupid then. I never knew what true kindness was until I met Monkey. Since then I dedicated to helping those who were in the same place I was. And stop evil that dares to hurt others. While you were just mean to a bunch of kids. Those kids, as you say, were devious spy brats with an entire moon base headquarters that continuously made adults lives a living hell. But I realized that too. And I'm making plans to better myself. The first being the de de delightfulize the delightful children. Yeah, after they were in their 20s. They argue for some time before Father throws Simeon a blanket and pillow. Well, Mr. Funny Man, you can sleep on the couch tonight because I don't want to deal with you right now. Father says before going upstairs to bed. Fine, go do that then. Simeon falls asleep on the couch. During the night, he feels like he's sliding down a slide, but made a space. Suddenly, he wakes up, but in bed. At first, he thought he walked in at night, but he got up. He noticed he was a lot shorter than usual. He looked in the mirror. He realized it was Father looking back at him. Oh, Father, I didn't see you. There? He didn't hear his voice, but he heard Father's. He looked down at his hands. They were also Father's. He ran out of the room, and he saw what looked like him? But that's not possible, is it? Sims, what the hell is going on? I'm you, and you're me? He said, pointing at Sims, freaking out. Sims tried to calm him down, but Father keeps poking his face, which was his own. I know it's crazy, but we have to calm down and figure out what's going on here. Just then, they see the red book that helped them find Yumi, Peridot, and Zim on the kitchen table. The page was open to the words squad swap. It explains to them what happened. If two partners feel as if the other is not understanding their side of things, the spell will switch them so they can experience the lives from their point of view and help them fix their side and improve the relationship between them too. Sims looks confused before Father yells. Yes, finally. You can see how it is to have you as a leader, he said. How about we don't tell the squad what's happening and try to figure out how to resolve this so you can see how you act as a leader. Sim gives him a look. Okay, now I'll just act like you all the time and see how you like it to deal with you. He says they glare at each other before shaking hands. Just then Yumi portals in. They both jump. Yumi, what are you doing here? He stopped to try to sound like Sims by doing an Orson Welles impression. Ah, Yumi, how are you this fine morning? Me, being Sims and father, are doing just fine. She looks confused. Um, okay, so any plans for today? Or are you guys just going to watch TV and play poker like usual at my house? Father tries to keep his cool, but isn't doing a good job. He nudges him and clears his throat. Um... Well, uh, Sim said he, he, he should hang out at Father's and watch an interdimensional cable until something comes up to get our attention. He said trying his best Father impression. Yumi gets suspicious, looking like Rick does when he suspects something. Are you guys okay? You seem off today. What do you mean off? I'm just fine. Can we have a groggy morning, huh? Well, I'm offended. He crossed his arms, looking away, glancing back to make sure her expression changes. Father steps in. Okay, let's go to Rick's. Who knows? There might be a situation that requires us to go to some planet of skinks where I go all goo-goo eyes with some skank residents and make Father mad because I think they're fine. Sims clears his throat and gives him a look. Or we hear something about a massive shipment of nachos that was hijacked by some cheese pirates. And we have to bring it back, but I can't be able to help myself, so I eat half of my weight in nachos, knowing what they do to me. 
But when Sims justifiably reminds me what they do to me, I'll just say, Don't try to change me, Dad! And then I'll go to the bathroom for hours because I'm in such pain. But every time I show nachos, uh, it's like I forget all about it and yell, Heads up! And before jumping in like some Olympic swimmer and start chowing down, father gets his attention. All right, all right, sir. I mean, I mean uh, father. Come on, Yumi. Let's go to Grandpa Rick's. So, so says me, Sims, the leader, the strong monkey man, numero uno, the monkey in charge of the squad. Okay, then. She goes to portal out when she suddenly turns around. Hey, father. They both respond, which Yumi jumps around to them. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew something was up, and I was right. Sims tries to change the subject when father interrupts him. I forget it, Sims. She's on to us. Sims tries to shush them as they move away from Yumi so they can talk. I knew it. She knows. I don't know how she knows, but what are we going to do, Mr. Leader Monkey Man? What can we do, father? She's like her grandpa. She knows things. What are you two dick fucks whispering about? She asks, crossing arms, clearly annoyed at Simeon and Father's antics at this point. Nothing. Uh, we're just uh, uh, talking about man things. Yeah, that's right. Man things, Father? Really? Well, I don't hear you coming up with any excuses, Sims. Okay, so since you guys are both in each other's bodies like some freaky Friday shit, now's your chance to see what it's like to be in the other person's shoes. Seems fair, don't you think? They both have confused looks on their faces. Look, all you guys have to do is just act like the other person and see what it's like to be them. She said annoyed. They both finally understand and nod their heads in agreement. They arrive at Rick's house. They sit down at the squad and watch TV. Rick notices them acting weird. Uh, you, you guys okay? You guys are acting a little weird. They look at each other, but Father keeps us cool. Oh, we're just fine, Rick. Uh, father, you see, was having stomach problems from eating nachos. Hey, Father. Sims looks over and gives him a look. Oh, yeah, I just can't help myself. I just love me some nachos. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. <laughs> he laughed nervously. Just did a breaking news broadcast. Came on interdimensional cable. Breaking news! It looks like we have a super villain mouse amongst us. His name is the Cheddar Master. Ooh, spooky. He's a mouse that uses giant... She's made mech suits and shoots, shoots cheese and cheese-based weapons, and you would not believe what he steals! Oh jeez, you think it's got anything to do with this motif? You know, stealing- That's right! He's responsible for the theft of thousands of containers of cheese! The villain has been calling out the hero team, Squad 8, and have yet to get a response! Sims looks annoyed. Well, maybe we haven't said anything because we didn't realize what's going on until just now! How's that make me look as a lead? <laughs> He stops himself before he finishes the sentence. I mean, uh, how's that make Sims look as a leader? Huh, Sims? He looks to father. He looks confused for a second before answering. Oh, uh, oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I don't, it don't make me look good as a leader at all. <laughs> Come on, guys. We have a cheddar master to defeat. He stood up, pointing to the distance. The squad look at father confused for a second. I really like the enthusiasm, but we have no idea we even where to even look for him. And even if we can, and I know we can defeat the Cheddar Master, we don't know where to start looking for him. Just then, Father gets an idea. Wait a second. There's a massive shipment of nacho cheese that's being transported to the big nacho convention they have every year. They'll definitely be going after that. The squad looks surprised. Wow! I really would have expected Father to say something like that, considering, you know, you don't really like nachos. Now, Father really likes nachos, you know, but nachos don't like him. <laughs> but, yeah, you already know about that. <laughs> Doof laughs as Sims clears his throat. Well, Sims, I was about to say that, but thanks for putting that as our current objective. Going through a shipment of nacho cheese. He said, hiding his annoyance to a smile. It was quiet for a second before Zim breaks the silence. <laughs> from the awkward silences and let us commence with the mission of stopping this master of the many cheeses and cheddar weapons they get in the van and make their way to the warehouse with the nacho cheese being held oh great another warehouse come on guys didn't we just get back from one a few days ago we don't worry about continuity and besides it's not like this is gonna be the last time we're, we'll ever be at a warehouse you know what i mean he said taking a drink from his flask just then, Sims walks up to the guy in charge of the nacho cheese shipment. Hey, buddy, what's the status on this here nacho cheese shipment? <laughs> uh, get it? Because 
Does nacho cheese goes with goes with chips? There's an awkward silence before the warehouse worker speaks. Are you okay? You see mom. Sims chuckles nervously. Also, it's Mac, not Buddy. Buddy's over there. He points to a guy writing something down. He waves. You can hear him say, hello, before going back to writing. Just then, the giant doors of the warehouse blast open as giant mech suit made of cheese wheels and cheese blocks walks in, followed by mice marching in a formation. They all stop. Just then, the mech suit grabs Sims and Father, lifting them in the air. Hello, Squad 8! We finally meet! Strange that you come after me now, after I acquire my TV mech suit! Now that you've discovered my plan to turn the entire Earth into cheese, oh well, I have your friends, and I'm about to dunk them in this giant vat of bubbling hot nacho cheese! <laughs> he rips off the top of the container, revealing the nacho cheese inside. And let me just say that things are looking too good for them. <laughs> really? That's really the best cheese pun you're gonna do? Not gonna lie, that's really fucking sad. Silence now! You will watch your friends meet their doom! <laughs> the Cheddar Master said as he lowered them into the vat. Just then he stopped. Um, minions? Why is this nacho cheese not bubbling hot? Get it bubbling! The mice ran around the container and lighted on fire. Within seconds, it's bubbling. Father, before we jump to the vat full of nacho cheese, I just have to say one thing to you. It's all your fault! I mean, honestly, why do I keep listening to you? What? How the hell is this my fault? You're the one that suggested we come here in the first place! They tried to break the chains. You know, you can use my fire, Sims! I'm trying to, but I don't know how to activate them! Father thanks for a second before looking at the nacho cheese below. Ah, man. I could really use some nacho cheese right now. Sim gets annoyed. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I get you mad, upset, burning with rage? Well, I have just six words for you. Don't try to change me, Dad! Just then, Sim starts glowing orange. I told you what nacho cheese does to you! He lets out a giant blast of fire that knocks everyone in the Cheddar Master back. They're both sit flying away from the container. They land by the squad. They get up and break the chains. Ah, see? That's how it's done. You channeled your raids into pure energy and let it out on all your enemies. Not shabby, right? He hugs him. Thanks, father. Now let's take down that rat. He points to the Cheddar Master and the minions before looking to father. You can say it this time, father. Oh, I've been waiting for this moment. Squad 8, attack! He yelled as him and the squad run into battle. They battle the micey minions, blocking cheese attacks and knocking out mice left and right. Soon it was just them and the Cheddar Master. You think you've won? You think this is the end for the Cheddar Master? You have no idea the power I possess. The Cheddar Chainsaw, the Gouda Grenades, the, the uh, Mozzarella Maces. This is not the end of me. I am the Cheddar. Just then a barrel hits him, sinking it into the mech suit. It falls apart. Sim walks over and moves the barrel. The Cheddar Master is knocked out. He and his minions are placed in a small cell-like cage carrier. The squad are talking with people that own the warehouse about repairs, but they say it's okay. Eh, don't worry about it. This isn't the crazy thing that's happened here. We'll have that container heading to the big nacho convention before it starts. Um, actually, we were referring to the giant door. He said pointing to the giant door where the entrance was. Oh, we'll have that fixed too. Last week, Buddy over there actually drove a truck through it. Buddy laughed and shrugged. They go back to transport the Cheddar Master and Minions to jail. When they see Yumi Hoots and the other Hoot squad by the cage. Don't worry about these guys. We'll hand the transport of the these foul scoundrels to jail. Right, girls? They all agree. One of the Hoots looking at the cage as if examining him. <laughs> oh yeah, they'll do nicely, she said, as Yumi Hoots and the other ones laughed to themselves. Party Hoot starts shaking her tail feather, singing, Yum 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 yum, lunchtime, lunchtime for us hooties. Yumi Hoot sees the squad looking at them and nudges her to stop. Spit me out, you foul avian foul! A muffled voice can be heard amongst the Hoots. Just them a skinny rat ran out of the cages, unaware that they could have done that minutes ago. Hey! You spit brain out right now! Yumi sees Pinky and runs by him. Hey, spit brain out right now, Yumi Hoots! The Hoots looks at Yumi like it has no idea what she's talking about before Yumi Hoots smacks the back of her head. She spits a mouse out. He's moist, but okay. 
How dare you try to eat me? Who do you think you are? The Hoots laughed before holding up a fork and spoon. I'm a hungry, hungry Hootie! She said before Yimmy Hoots clears her throat. Will you have some composure and wait till we get to HQ to eat? I mean, till we deliver them to Mouse Jail so we can get some lunch. Yeah, that's it. They leave with the cage, driving away, the squad looking at each other. So we just let the Hoots take the mouse to eat them for lunch. That's a thing we just did right now. We just let them run away with that. Oh, uh, jeez, thanks, Doof. We were just about to go on not saying anything, but you had to go put that thought in our heads. You know what? Let's go home. Yumi shudders and turns to Rick. Yeah, let's get out of here. I just want to go home and forget this whole day, to be honest. Hey, Simeon, Father, I just want to say you guys did good today. I'm proud of you both. Sims turns to her. Ah, thanks. It was fun using Father's powers. We... Wait a minute. He looks at his hands. I'm back! Father looks at his hands and as they catch fire. Yes! The fire daddy's back! He explodes with fire that knocks the squad back. The warehouse workers tell him to cool it. Father looks at him. I'm never cooling it down. This fire daddy's gonna stay burning till I can't burn no more. Well, can you take it somewhere else? We got enough repairs to do as it is. Father laughs nervously and says sorry. The squad leaves as they are repairing the doors. Well, that was an interesting adventure, and I don't say that a lot. The squad look at him with raised eyebrows. You know, it's good that you guys did whatever you guys did. You know, I wonder what's on in the dimensional cable right now. As the squad talk about what they want to see, Father is seen eating a giant container of nachos. You know, Father, you... Actually, you know what? You enjoy those nachos. You've earned them. Father smiled. Don't mind if I do. And thank you for being there for me, Sims. He says as he grabs a jar of jalapenos. Now let's spice things up. He says as he adds the jalapenos to the nachos. Oh, come on, Father. The squad laugh as they drive away. Those nachos are going to burn on their way out, but it'll be worth it. Sims is heard groaning as the screen turns to black. We see a crystal ball. A voice can be heard off screen. Well, would you look at this, my pet? It looks like Squad 8 has found my spell book. Maleficent can be seen looking into the crystal ball. Well, in that case, let's see how long they last. She laughs as a scene fades to black and the episode ends.